Akka job mentors are really good. They are very skillful. So whenever we have doubts, uh, they took their uh, time and uh, explained it very well with the basics examples. Anyone out there who is looking for to improve your uh, coding skills or programming skills and who is struggling to get placed can always go for Akka job. Akka job is a very good uh, ignition to my professional life. It's a very good start. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Akizwap Talk Show channel. My name is Mrinal Kamboj. Today we have a very amazing guest with you named Nitin. Nitin completed his graduation in 2021 in electronics and communication and he is placed now as SDE in Bamboo Rose. So let's know more about Nitin's journey from him. So let's welcome him. So welcome Nitin. Uh, I'm Mrinal. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good as well. Thank you for asking. Yes. So I wanted to start this interview with just asking you about your background. Right. So can you tell us something about your background? Yeah, sure. So uh, <laughs> I basically come from Chanapatna, like uh, from Karnataka state. I did my schooling in Chanapatna and uh, plus two in Alvas Pre University College. During my first year itself, like I decided to uh, uh, go for IIT or uh, NIT. So like I have uh, cleared both uh, JE mains and JE advanced, mm -hmm. but unfortunately I didn't get any good uh, IIT colleges, but mm -hmm. I got a seat in uh, NIT Karnataka uh, okay. in uh, electronics and uh, communication branch. I was looking forward for uh, CS uh, batch but uh, i didn't get in computer science so i went with uh, electronic and communication so can you tell us in this journey where as you were a student in nit karnataka right so how did a electronics and communication engineer suddenly you know switch his field to it like to coding and to maybe to it field what was the reason behind it so yeah, like uh, I was uh, interested in computer science uh, in, from my PU itself, but uh, <clears throat> I got electronic and communication in first year. Like I have very good interest in uh, programming and coding, like. Uh, but uh, I hesitated and uh, went with uh, pursuing core uh, electronic and communication. So right. I did my, but I did my internship on uh, web development. So where I got to like find myself like programming is uh, very interesting so mm -hmm. then i decided to switch my career from electronics to the development okay. so, right i understand so how did you get to know about acu job in this process yes so do uh, after my internship like i uh, started uh, my final year with uh, <coughs> my major project was also based on uh, programming like web development right. so uh, during my final semester uh, i got a mail then like from from that mail i got to know about aqua job so mm -hmm. it was like pay off the placement and i was also in the end of my end of my college placement so then uh, after that i <laughs> where i went uh, into orientation and get to know more about aqua job where i cleared or uh, where ashwarthan CEO of Akko job like cleared all the all my doubts uh, and I decided to give it to give it a try and that was one of my good decisions for my career life. Okay. Right. So once you joined Akko job, right? How did you find our course structure like? So yeah, like when I started the uh, Akko job, like uh, they started with uh, basic programming language Java. So after completing Java they started with uh, data structures and algorithm. So the roadmap to learn data structures and algorithm in Apple job is very good. Like uh, uh, first we started with like uh, we learned what are the uh, required algorithms. We started learning with the required algorithms and then basic structure structure and uh, then <coughs> advanced data structures. So every week we used to have a coding contest and there were like, we solved more than like uh, 200 soft problems uh, in Nakho job. So in the spam of uh, one and a half month, we solved more than 200 soft problems. So 
yes like the uh, there was like weekly contest and also there was like monthly contest and there was many competition and after that uh, we also after completion of uh, data structures and algorithm we right. uh, started with the uh, project on data structures and algorithm that was like really helpful and after the projects uh, if we had any doubts on uh, any of the topics we also got revision on those topics and uh, uh if you need more uh, classes we also got uh, more classes on data structures and then uh, after completion of uh, data structures uh, we started with the uh, front end programming so then like uh, there comes in html css and javascript we used to have uh, not the problem solving session but uh, um, project session on front end so there were like lots of projects after completing javascript we had a lot of like uh, projects using plain javascript and then after completion of uh, react as well we did uh, many projects on uh, react so that was like very helpful But how do you, what do you think of the placement process of aqua job um, placement procedure of uh, in aqua job is like very smooth so for me like i felt it was very smooth so after the completing uh, data structures only the placement procedures will get started so uh, during uh, when like we in nakajo we have like n number of uh, companies so like whenever we are ready we can sit for placement it's uh, like so it was uh, very good so how much do you think the hr and technical mocks help a student in his or her final placement because i've seen a lot of students trying to run away from it at times yes yes uh, like um, mo- especially like a mock interview helped me a lot so uh, like mock interviews will get you know where you are standing so mm-hmm. for me uh, i got to learn more from mock interview so when i prepared for mock interview and i went and i sat in front of the interviewer and Uh, suddenly i started uh, losing confidence and uh, uh, that was a failure my first mock interview was a failure and then i got to know like what to learn from it and uh, what are the theory questions that we be asking in the interview uh, and like a mock interview really gave me a confidence to sit in the company's interview okay so my next question to you is nitin how was your uh, interview process at bamboos like uh so my interview process was like first uh, that uh, first i started with the uh, data structures and uh, then uh like then the second round was on uh, react and javascript so uh, i cleared that uh, like uh, uh it was uh, difficult but uh, like okay uh, i cleared it and that that was like hr and project level questions so Uh, I didn't face uh, much uh, difficulty in, while giving interview to members. I was confident enough to clear problems. So, you know, how was your experience with our AccuJob mentors? Um, AccuJob mentors are really good. They are very skillful. So, uh, they <clears throat> whenever we have doubts, uh, they took their uh, time and uh, explained it very well with the basic examples. So. They helped us to do the projects in all the way possible. So mm-hmm. uh, after the weekly contest or any any programming questions, if we ask them, like uh, they will make sure, like uh, they are in the class only in in between the class itself, we can ask the doubts and uh, they will uh, they will clear us the doubts. Okay. And how hard was it for you coming from electronics and communication field to switch to IT field? what difficulties did you face in this journey difficulties is like i have to start from the scratch so that was the major difficulty and i don't know where to start how to start and what all i have to learn so these were the challenges when i switched from electronic to it field so uh, the, like uh, in in that aspect like aqua job <laughs> the road map uh, which has been set from aqua job Uh, has really made my life easier like and uh, i have uh, i've come i have come a long way from my job like now like the if i talk about now like i have pretty much gained some good skills from my job i have uh, i've learned many things as well 
based on now that you are placed in a good company with a good package with a good role how happy you are and how are you feeling right now so yeah the moment i got placed was uh, very special to me so there was nothing more than looking at my parents happy faces so the life is really good of the placement and very responsible my next question to you is what advice would you like to give to the upcoming students in this field yes so like there are a lot of uh, students who are asking me about uh, like a job in linkedin and in any social media so i want to give them like one advice like so the co job is not fixed so it is legit so yes it uh, it definitely get the placement is 100% and you have to only pay after the placement into your salary so you don't have to worry about uh, any financial status or anything so anyone out there who is looking for to improve your uh, coding skills or programming skills and who is struggling to get placed can always go for a co job so that is one my advice so you don't have to worry anything about your background or anything whether you are uh, not skilled or not so you learn everything in a co job you just have uh, you just uh, don't waste your time thinking about whether a co job is uh, fake or not my last question to you is anithin if you could explain a co job your experience with a co job in one word or one line how would you define it a co job is a very good uh, ignition to my professional life it's a very good start like uh, from the i have uh, I have given uh, company interviews before joining a co job with Tata. Like I was failing in the first round, so Tata structures was difficult for me. So when I was in a co job, and after a co job, I find myself like Tata structures was nothing. Like I was able to do in minimum time. So that was very good. Like I, I mean, like for my professional career life. So this, uh, it is a very good job. A co job is a very good start. thank you nitin uh, thank you for these amazing words and we wish you the best for your thank future you. and we are proud to have you as one of our alumni at akhil job and yes take care thank you nitin thank you everyone for watching our interview with nitin please let us know what are your thoughts in the comment section please like share and comment and yes have a good day